Climate Watch. A new study is suggesting that the best way to fight climate change is through trees. Mm. The research posted in the journal Science says planting billions of trees could remove nearly 25% of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So for more on this, we are joined by CBS News contributing meteorologist Jeff Berardelli. So this is intriguing. Yes, it is. I mean, sort of our basic fourth grade understanding of plants is how it sort of takes in carbon dioxide. Right, yeah, and pushes yeah. out oxygen, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And that, you know, certain plants do clean the air. So billions of trees worldwide will be the cheapest and most effective way to combat climate change? It's a very effective way. Mm -hmm. I mean, nature sometimes has the best remedies, right? Uh, to, to, to cure our ills, mm -hmm. which we have caused, by the way, by burning so many uh, fossil fuels. So it's a great way to do it. Although there are a lot of critics that say, well, their numbers are off a little bit. They say they can remedy about two thirds of the emissions that humans have put out since the 1800s. A lot of critics are saying it's probably closer to about a, a third, but that's mm -hmm. still a pretty decent amount. That may still be an optimistic number, but nevertheless, Yes, carbon dioxide is sucked in by trees, especially old growth forests, like real forests with all kinds of underbrush and really big trees. Problem is a lot of countries are proposing to build plantations of trees, which are then harvested 10 or 20 years later, and that releases some of the carbon dioxide. They're actually 40 times less efficient at sucking in carbon dioxide than real old growth forests. So what they're proposing is restoring forests back to their, their natural state and that we could maybe have an area the size of the United States, about all over the world, though, right. uh, where we could regrow forests and, and it wouldn't you know, require demolishing subdivisions of houses or getting rid of industry or agriculture. So areas that are degraded that could be regrown soon. I just uh, came back from uh, Brazil's Amazon, the Amazon jungle, and we did a story uh, in April about this very subject. But it seems to me around the world, people aren't planting trees, they're deforesting. And that is causing some of the, the problems that we see with regards to climate change. And one of the things that we looked at is the fact that countries will say, look, we need to feed our people. That's why we right. need to remove these yeah. forests yeah. to build more farmland because the population is exploding. And yet people are saying, look, if you remove these forests, the natural air conditioner for the planet, yeah. in the case of the Amazon, yeah. you're talking about catastrophic change. Right, so there's competing interests here. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what countries are really struggling with. And so this report is an idealized situation, right? Because not all countries are gonna to come together and agree on this because they do have to uh, worry about the economics of their country, providing food, water, and, 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 and industry uh, for their people. So there are competing interests, and this is an idealized study. But if we got to it and we really tried hard and we invested a lot of money, we could put a dent in climate change. And it's a great way to do it, right? Because not only does it suck carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, it also restores habitat for the sixth great extinction, which is happening right now, the sixth mass extinction. So uh, there's a lot of reasons to do it, and it's a really effective way to do it, too. Um, you talked about old growth, though, yeah. is really what makes the difference. Yeah. It, it sounds to me like a plan like this really wouldn't start to have an impact for many years. Decades. Yeah. It would take decades, right. So you, you plant a tree tomorrow, it doesn't realize its full potential for decades to come. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the problems is countries are kind of taking shortcuts. They're saying, okay, I raise my hand, I'm gonna plant more forests. But what they're really planting, two thirds of what they're planting are plantations, which will then be harvested for industry. And so it does suck in some carbon dioxide, but there was an estimate I saw in a scientific research paper recently, and I mentioned it before, but I'll mention it again, that those types of plantations are 40 times less impactful than a real natural forest. They suck in 40 times less we carbon dioxide. we got to protect what we already have. Yeah, right. yeah. we definitely do. Uh, Jeff Bairdelli, always Thanks. great to have you. Thanks, Jeff. Great to be here.